All right, so the last time I left you, we were driving through southern Zhejiang province. I've been traveling in my old beat-up Nissan with my traveling partner, Minigo. And then we got to the province of Fujian. And this part of China is pretty cool because it's lots and lots and lots of mountains, like as far as the eye can see, 360 degrees, and lots of tunnels. So I'd imagine that before those tunnels were built, most of those little villages and all those valleys were uh, isolated from the rest of the world because this region of China is notorious for developing a lot of local dialects. So then we got on the highway and we stopped at the nondescript city of Pucheng where we went to a restaurant and we ordered a bunch of local food. So there were some mutton in, with little rice crackers, some kind of vegetables too, like lots of chewy vegetables with um, some hollowed out buns, and some spicy beef with peanuts. So lots of diet dishes there are pretty spicy. And there was even a local microbrew. Then we went to buy some wine for the road ahead. And I got the longboard out of the car's trunk to go on a little ride that brought us to some kind of park, some kind of city square of some sort. And there were some stairs that went up a hill and on top of the hill, we had some pretty cool views over this provincial level city. And we even made some friends. So there was a middle school girl who just kind of followed me around, curious to see a foreigner there. This is what? This is the one. 对的,这边是福建普城的特色,非常的好吃,它的外皮很脆,然后里面有两种口味,一般是有萝卜的,或者是芋头的,里面会加一块肉,非常的好吃,味道是咸的,外皮非常的酥脆,香的,里面非常的
And then, to my surprise, I met this man, and he uh, introduced himself as Ilya from Russia, and he gave me some tea, we had a little chat, we spoke in Chinese. It might seem a little bit weird, but at the same time, if you think about it for half a second, like neither of us speak English as a mother tongue, so if we can find another language to communicate, well then, might as well. And as it turned out, the dog could go on the Nine Ben River cruise, which is something I really wanted to do. It's a bit touristy, but I have to embrace the fact that I'm becoming a middle aged Chinese man. So I'll shut up for a few minutes and I'll just like let us drift on the river with some relaxing Gujian music. I had to take the bus back upstream and then I went to one of those 7 million little tea shops that are dotting every street in the area and I tasted some nice red tea and I bought a few boxes for myself and for the family and then I drove around until I found a pretty nice little remote spot and I did a bit of maintenance, did what I had to do, I had to clean my cooler after there's been a pretty major spill in there and I also cleaned the inside of the car soon after darkness fell I read a little bit and went to sleep breakfast was scrambled eggs again I like scrambled eggs while the dog was sleeping in and right next to where I was there was a dilapidated old college campus and there was a sign saying no trespassing but there were people coming in and out through a gap so I just went in and it was pretty great. It was pretty surreal, in fact. So the whole area has been like taken over by some by some tea plantations. So there were cars in, so it means that there was a way in that I just didn't know of. So there was a big lake, and there were a few people who went there to do some kind of picnic. And then next to a sign saying, don't throw garbage anywhere. Ugh, ugh. I won't say anything because I want to keep this thing PG-13, but this thing very very much infuriates me <laughs> anyway so then the dog and I kept walking around and there were some like again really old little artifacts of I don't even know what this is supposed to be kind of looked like some Flintstone houses there seems like there were even like people living there so there was a car parked in front there were clothes hanging from lines there were tools around and the dog also liked to chase the ducks like he's prone to do and thus ended our little visit to the northwestern corner of Fujian province. In the next episode, we're heading west towards China's Appalachia, which is Jiangxi province. So I'll see you there. And in the meantime, you can check out my blogs for updates and other little travel stories. Thanks for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.